I'll share the show, share the show, because I got something for you. Y'all know I got something for you. Uh, watch this. Watch this. I saw this last night. Uh, let me see. Where my young fella at? Watch this. In our community, Kamala Harris, for years, I've been told, hey, she put thousands of black men in jail unjustly for marijuana charges. And I was like, dang, that's crazy. So for years, I didn't like her because of that. Then last night, because I was bored, I sat down and I said, well, how many thousands? 10, 20, 30,000 dudes? So from 2004 to 2010, Kamala Harris was the district attorney for San Francisco. And in that time, she had several convictions for marijuana charges. Her total amount was 1,956 people. And you might say to yourself, that's not thousands. I know, because even less actually went to jail. The number was 45. So for years, we've been told, hey, she's locking up black men left and right unjustly for weed charges. When in fact, not really. Now, I will say in 2010, when the bill came up for them to legalize weed, she sat on the sidelines. 2016, she did the same. She didn't come forward and speak publicly about it until 2018. So just to give you a little fact check in. Kamala Harris isn't responsible for locking up thousands of black men for weed. I don't even know where that came from. And I tell you right now, honestly, it came from the Internet. Somebody told me I heard it. I didn't do any research and I just ran with it. And that's my fault. So hopefully you learn something and you don't do the same. Let's go, Kamala.